Welcome back 3D students. In this video we're going to learn some basic rigging. And rigging is the process where you apply bones to a mesh so that it will deform when animated like skin, like this. We're going to create this little tentacle thing here and we're going to add some bones to it. Here are the bones. You can see them right here inside the mesh. Let me hide the mesh so you can see them see that they animate and they deform the mesh as they move and then we're also going to have to create some control objects that will allow us to move the bones and we'll have to create some helpers that allow us to attach our control objects to the bone hierarchy so let's get started so I've reset my scene here and the first thing we're going to need to do is create a cylinder. So let's uh, grab a cylinder and create a cylinder. Doesn't matter how big it is at this point. And after we create the cylinder, let's go to the Modify tab. And we're going to adjust its parameters. Come up here to the default shading menu in your viewport and turn on edged faces so we can see our edges. Now to make this thing look like a tail, let's add a taper modifier. make it negative one. There we go. Brings it to a point. Now we need to adjust the size of it. So let's uh, go back to cylinder and let's adjust the height. And the radius a little bit. And now we need a lot more geometry on this thing because we want it to deform smoothly. Right now it only has five height segments. Let's give it 25. And I don't think we need any more sides, but let's go ahead and give it 25 sides as well. And now that we've got that done, let's permanently apply this taper modifier by right clicking and selecting Convert to Editable Poly. Let's also get the Move tool and center this in X and Y space. That makes rigging much easier. Now, you may notice that I have all of my uh, commands here in the command panel visible. That's because my window is much larger. If you want that, you can simply do the same thing. We're also going to be using the Scene Explorer here, so let's make sure that that's visible. And it doesn't need to be quite so wide. And one of the things that um, makes rigging much, much easier are layers. Right now, I am in the Layer view. You can switch views in the Scene Explorer here. This is the Layer view, and this is the Hierarchy view about hierarchies when we start talking about bones but right now we have one layer and it is the default layer and it is active that's what this little uh, stack means here so let's select our cylinder and create a layer for that cylinder so select it and then um, see I might need to make it a little bit wider here so the tools are visible and click the plus sign and now that cylinder is in its own layer and let's name this mesh. So now we have a layer for the mesh. Now this is now the active layer because you can see this little stack is blue. If I click the default layer, now that's the active layer. So let's leave the default layer active. And when a layer is active, anything you create will go in that layer. Now let's um, switch to the front viewport by pushing F on your keyboard, and we're going to create some bones. But before we do that, we are going to freeze the mesh layer. So now we can't move it. We're now ready to create some bones, but we're going to do that in the next video, and I'll see you then.